so the person that hasn't been in the room the last couple of days here is really the writer, the content producer. We've really talked about distribution. We've talked, MC Hammer's telling me how much truancy I've had, um, what my mutual funds are worth. But really, we haven't put the writer in the room. We haven't allowed them in the room. We've disintermediated them. We've taken their money, and sometimes we've taken their jobs. So when Mary Meeker, um, I spoke to her several times over the last couple weeks and this weekend, and we had a long discussion about it. And she said, look, I just want you to go talk about it. And she put my name in her slide, which is a problem unto itself, but I appreciate it. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about is a little bit about how writers bring back their value and content creators bring back their value. It's a simple rule of any market, the more information that is created, the more the value is reduced. And we have done that in the web completely. We live it. This article hit that, um, hit that point in the content, content swamp at Yahoo of what's going on there. This was the, the graphic that went with it. Content proliferates, ad rates drop, losing market share, revenue shifts. Again, the writer, the creator, absent from this process. So with the content being a commodity and writers not being paid, and please, I'm sure you're all thinking, who, are, who am I to say that from demand media? So I'm going to tell you a story about that and how it goes. So what we really want to do is add data and content to drive value. And one of the most important things in that, in that exercise, is the idea of expertise. So I'm going to tell you the story of a woman. Her name is Jerry Ferris. And if you go to Amazon right now and you look her up, it's two R's um, in her first name and her last name. Uh, she has written a ton of books on home and garden. I'm actually going to get the list here. Flea Market Style, Do-It-Yourself Luxurious Living, 1,000 Ideas for Bathrooms, uh, Creating Gardening Accents, Cabin Style, Kitchen and Inspirations, Cottage Style, Fireplaces, Inspiration and Information, Garden style and flea market style. She's written over 20 books. She lives in the Midwest, um, and she wrote those books, and she wrote for magazines on a freelance basis. After the last um, economic downturn recession, she was out of work. Nobody would hire her because those magazines mostly went out of business. A whole bunch of shelter magazines closed down. So really what she ended up doing, she was a little bit desperate. She had nowhere to go. She had no work. She was in Minnesota, I believe. She couldn't figure it out. So she went to demand, and she started copy editing our home and garden content. She worked for $2.50 in copywriting, and she had to get herself up to the point where she could do four or five articles on an hourly basis. She struggled with it because she didn't know about the web, and she didn't know about data, and she didn't know how content was published on the web. She struggled through it, and within 18 months, she has now become a full-time employee of Demand Media. She makes over six figures, and she's the editor-in-chief of the largest home and garden site on the web. And it's a story of reinvention, and it's a story of data, and it's a story of how she learned a new skill. And what I really think has to happen is that every writer in the world out there needs to learn how to become an expert. And they need to learn how to get a following. And they need to learn either how to embrace that and join in the conversation and figure out what their value is. So I looked at a couple of things in the last couple of days. I mean, who couldn't have noticed the One King's Lane commercial that has gone on here for two days? So I went to <laughs> One King's Lane. I bought some towels there the other day. I haven't gotten them yet, but we'll see what happens. Um, and, um, you know, a little shout out to Mary Meeker on that one. Um, and I went to One King's Lane, and they have some great designers, and they have tastemakers, and they found experts that are great at design because they can't sell their product without expertise. So as much as they have all that data that shows what they need to do, they actually have to point the consumer in the right way, and they have to have those experts. Those experts have their own followings, they've published their own books, and now they're creating value. 
I don't know how many men out there follow Rachel Zoe, but Rachel Zoe is a fantastic stylist. She styles all of the major award um, winners at the, at the Golden Globes and the Oscars and everything else. She has a show on Bravo. She writes a style blog for Piper Lime. She's created her own following and built her own brand. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter who fires her. It doesn't matter if she's you know, fired by one person and hired by another person. She has used her expertise and the data that she knows about her business to drive value into her, um, into her life and created many different things from books to shows to a newsletter, and everybody knows newsletters still make a high CPM. Um, so, you know, the next um, piece of expertise is one of the things we did at Demand with data is we took a magazine called Cracked and we reinvented it into a data and analytics comedy site. As much as you'll say, that's ridiculous, Joanne, what I want to do is give you some of the numbers and stats about Cracked. So Cracked in September, we have 1.8 million fans. Each one of those fans drives between three and five referrals um, of our content in our site. We crowdsource the comedy ideas from 2,500 writers. We produce about seven to 10 of these articles per week. And we have created an unbelievable community based on data and knowing what they think is funny. And then the data of the Facebook fan, the data of the referral, the data of the direct visits, and then the data of the mobile use. We have 2.6 mobile visitors every single month that are spending, um, that consume 22 million pages. It's a lot of pages on a mobile device. So we change the content, but we use that data about their use. And all along the way in creating this unbelievable comedy site, we've used data to build the thing. It's not just three guys sitting in around in a room anymore saying fart jokes are funny. It's really a bunch of guys, and they are guys, there's a couple of women in there, because it's a male comedy site, creating great ideas and figuring out the virality of it, how to get it out into social media, and what is going on. They are experts at that. They don't take it for granted. Wherever they go, they will be experts at what it takes to use data and how to think about it. So they've made themselves valuable as content creators and writers to anybody. And anybody would be happy to hire them because they know how to use the tools of today. You used to say, take pen to a paper. Today, you should say, take your fingers to the web and your mobile device and figure out how to use those tools. Figure out how to get that data and how to make it valuable. So my whole entire point today is really thinking about what are the layers of every writer and what should they be able to use in every content creator, whether you're creating videos for us. I'll give you another example, L'Oreal. We create videos for them. And they didn't think that we could meet their bar of expertise. What we found is that there are Oscar um, hairdressers that are available for a day in LA that really want their name and their recognition um, and want their craft to be shown on a website um, and want to be associated with L'Oreal. So we're getting them to come into our studio every day. We've got first-rate models. We've got first-rate bloggers. We have everybody that has expertise. One of the things we've done this last week was we've changed some of the requirements in our studio system. Now you have to have expertise and authority in what you're writing to write for us. Because we think that if you do anything at all today, that you walk away from this conference, say, I need to have more informed, better qualified experts writing my content, whether it is for your, your own site, One King's Lane, or whether it's for our site, we have to use that data and find those experts in a more active way. So with that, I'm going to bring back one of the great experts in John Battelle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joanne. I got